While most people spend their whole lives understanding the intricacies of this world, for some, a lifetime on Earth is just not enough to do that. Take a look at who plans to go beyond the skies, quite literally. Human beings spend most of their lives looking for places to settle for a secure future. This girl from India's southern Kerala has different plans. Shraddha Prasad's dream of leading an extraterrestrial life might just come true. The 19-year-old has made it to the list of 100 candidates and is the only one based in India to be shortlisted for the Mars One mission. And if she gets through the fourth round of the astronaut selection process, Prasad will be one of the 24 chosen humans to get a one-way ticket to the Red Planet. Amid great excitement and determination, Shraddha said she is ecstatic about the mission. I came to know about this mission first in July 2013. And... Uh, Back then, when I wanted to apply for the mission, there was a lot of uh, pressure from all the sides from, you know, asking me not to apply because this seemed a very dangerous mission. Uh, I went ahead with it anyway because I wanted to and uh, uh, once I did, I've crossed all the rounds now. There, are, there were three rounds till now and I've uh, passed all of them. And I feel really happy that I've made it this far. The Mars One mission is an initiative being undertaken by a Netherlands-based non-profit organization which hopes to send six teams of four people each onto the Red Planet in 2024. As many as 100 candidates from all across the world have been whittled down from more than 200,000 aspirants. Taranjit Singh Bhatia, studying in Florida, and Dubai-based Ritika Singh are the other two Indians who figure in the list. Prasad, an engineering student at a Coimbatore college, said she is emotional yet confident of inching towards her dream. My parents, as you know, when I told them that I wanted to apply, they actually thought I was being, I was joking, you know, that I was completely crazy. Because as everybody, you know, had apprehensions, they were also ap apprehensive about the mission. You know, this is something one of a kind. I mean, it's not that you see in newspapers daily. They didn't want me to apply because they thought it was a scam, but I still went ahead with it and they at least thought I wouldn't make it, you know, proceed to the upcoming rounds but that was also overcome. So as much as they're scared for me, they're also happy that I made it this far because I, I'm probably one of the youngest candidates so they're pretty proud of me. The project aims to set up a human colony on Mars to understand the origins of the solar system, the beginning of life and our position in the universe. A total of 40 candidates will eventually be chosen to take part in a training program and will live in a copy of the Mars outpost on Earth. The first unmanned flight is scheduled for a liftoff in 2018.